Okay, so um, I was asked how to um, test in Cello with multiple accounts here in Remix. And um, yeah, it's not as easy um, as you might see here. We have like easily multiple accounts um, that have Ether, and with that, it makes it easy to test. If we are using here Cello CUSD, this gets a little bit more difficult. So let me show you this on our marketplace contract and I will just do like the one without the ERC20 token because otherwise I always need to approve that. Um, I have a separate video on that. Um, so um, yeah, so let's, we um, already compiled this contract. Um, so now in the Cello extension, um, let's deploy this contract. So you can see, yeah, I'm just normally deploying it. Um, and you can see I'm here connected with this account, right? Um, and here you can see I can have like the functions read product, write product. So um, let me create quickly a product. However, price three. And now I click on Right product, so now I enter a new product. And now if we read the index zero, we can see um, our product here. And this is my address, I am the owner, yes? So like in the end it says uh, EA32, um, here EA32. So this is the owner address. And now let's try to test the contract with another address, right? And so this is a little bit, um, yeah, like I said, a little bit um, um, uh, difficult. Uh, so, yeah, just let me show you um, how to do that. So basically, um, let's copy the address of our contract. We have already deployed it, right? So now we can interact with this contract also through here. So let's let's um, use our already deployed contract, um, which is this one here. Let me close this. This is our old contract, uh, or um, that's actually, yeah, um, this is the one that we just now got uh, from the same address as the same contract. We can interact with it. Um, index zero, we call it, and here, same address, right? Um, so now we can, um, uh, yeah, now let's try to switch accounts. And this is, like I said, not as easy. So we have, like, here um, the Cello extension wallet. Um, and we can create new accounts here, right? So maybe let's do that. I create a new account, um, account three. Okay, why not? Um, account three um, has apparently even assets. Um, okay, otherwise we need to send it assets, right? You can just um, uh, yeah copy like your address here. And then let's see, I think this account has some assets some CUSD, so I can send them like here or transfer between accounts. I want to transfer to this one three. I want to transfer CUSD. I want to transfer four. So let me do that. Um, okay, so if I go now to account number three, Um, yeah, you can see now here I have less, right? 10, maybe it just takes a little bit. And now here I have six, so the transfer worked. So now this new account has also um, CUSD. And now I want to connect this new account, right? But you can see here, like the, the account EA32 um, has actually the balance. Um, so EA32 um, is the second one. Right, so let's go into the second account, and now comes a little bit um, difficult part. Maybe we know go to connected sites, and you can see this here is like basically, um, yeah, uh, the extension um, that like this is basically the the remix, um, um, uh, yeah, like this is a, the um, the address uh, of the guy who added like this plugin here for remix, this hello plugin, and yeah, it's hosted here on GitHub. And so like this DEX fair thing is one that you need to um, manually disconnect with. Let's do that. Now you can see our account is disconnected, right? So now no account is connected to that. 
And um, yeah, maybe we should reload the website, but let's copy this address. I think we need to, we need to reload the website just to see like this connect button again. Maybe you don't need to reload it and you can just connect it. Um, let's do it. Okay, now we can connect. And now we can connect it to our third account, right? And now you can see it's a different account here with the balance 9, which is actually the balance um, of our third account, right? So this is right, it's the right address. 27C, not just 27C9, it's all right. Okay, now here we have the contract address that I just uh, copied. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we still need um, the contract, right? So like this was a contract that I used. Um, we need to compile it. And so now that we compiled it, we can actually call the contract at this address. And now we can call read product zero. Um, and this is like the old address that I had. Now let's write a new one. Um, index one. Um, orange this time. And let's add it. Yeah, if you're seeing this error, it usually means that maybe something is wrong with your with your contract and. Um, yeah, you, it throws an exception there. It's just not very good at error handling, like um, uh, the the uh, the Chrome extension. Okay, so now we have both, and um, we can yeah call again like read product, and now you see here my address. So now we tested this contract with two different addresses. Yeah, one is EA thirty two. The second one is this my address now. And we could do the same for the buy product function. But yeah, I, just to keep this video short, um, maybe I will even do like a voice video. I have another video how to how to interact with a buy product function. But basically, you have to um, um, you have to call the um, the uh, you have to call the um, the interface of um, or basically you have to enter the address of the CUSD token and then you have to um, approve the CUSD token, the ERC20 token, right? And um, so this is what you have to do first. But um, yeah, look at that in another video. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful. Otherwise, uh, let me know if there's something missing. Thank you.